Love you too. <laughs> so, the 11th Fan Fest, almost about to come to an end. How are we liking it so far? We're liking it also quite well on this end. I think it's safe to say we've taken it to 11. <laughs> uh, and of course, I mean, uh, booking the Harpa uh, for a solar eclipse is pretty cool. And having uh, Northern Light also. Parting the skies was maybe, I say we lucked out on that one. Uh, I don't think we could have planned that any better. Thanks again to this guy for having put this all in motion five years ago. And here are some uh, really amazing moments of uh, <laughs> internet spaceship captain from all over the world come to stare into the future. Uh, CCP France, United, BFF forever. Uh, all staring at this. And I have to say, it's somewhat amazing how 2% of the sun is really bright. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, you really need the glasses to, to see. Um, and uh, let's put the whole HDR for graphics rendering a whole new perspective, and 2% is this much. So, uh, in the uh, same caliber of uh, blotting out the sun and parting the skies, uh, we had the World Collide Tournament. Uh, uh, it was quite <laughs> the moment to see this all come together. Uh, I want to do a huge shout out to the CCP team uh, that they made this work behind the scene. Uh, I don't really think anyone truly appreciates the complexities involved. Uh, taking a player team from China with her equipment on their Chinese client, connect them into a specialized server that allows both clients with different versions, different regional settings, different languages, all to come together in this one tournament. It was quite the, the, the thing to pull off, so please give uh, Team CCP a huge applause. some nice action shots. Uh, and uh, here we have the Chinese team uh, that came all the way from, from China to participate in this. I know CCP Nullarbor had pretty interesting things to talk about structures on, on Thursday, but I think the biggest structure surprise at FanFest was the Chinese structure tank. Yeah. So, uh, Let's also uh, give the winners a really good applause. Uh, Camel Empire won. Uh, and in a true FanFest moment, uh, there was a spontaneous idea during Pop Crawl yesterday about having a rematch in Valkyrie. Uh, and we got all that together. The teams competed again in Valkyrie, and Camel Empire won again. <laughs> These guys really know their internet spaceships. And here we have the tennis player team uh, meeting Antti. And here we have actually all our Chinese visitors meeting the president of Iceland. Um, Uh, I think it was a bigger deal to meet Antti, but uh, also they got to meet the president. Uh, each of them run comparatively sized economies of a few hundred thousand people using ISK as the currency. Uh, uh, so on the picture, we have our Chinese players, uh, we have visitors from our partners TN City, we have visitors from Tencent, and we have some CCP people there. Uh, so let's give all these people a huge applause coming all this way to uh, spend contact with us. And then we have Pop Crawl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
I, 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 I like how confident Svenny is in his vertical challenge. Uh, and uh, always some amazing moments. The level of dedication <laughs> that people put into this is awe-inspiring. Some people come really well prepared. Uh, and the amount of joy that shines in every face. The amount of beer that gets consumed. Uh, it's always uh, <laughs> inspiring to see the photos. I was able to stay out myself. I went home to sleep early so I could be cute today. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, as we talked about uh, on Thursday in the opening, we have changed the schedule uh, quite a bit, all the good stuff in the beginning, and then just have fun in the end. How are we liking the new program? Yeah, I myself are liking it a lot more, uh, even though this views, view is kind of nice here from the States. Then it takes a lot <laughs> of practices and rehearsals to get all this together and just to finish all that before FanFest and then deliver, it's much better. I know for sure oral dev teams have been uh, super happy about that, getting the Eve keynote out there, sort of on prime time for the international audience on Twitch and all that, uh, helped a lot to have a much more engaged conversation throughout the FanFest. Also, uh, always happy to see the continued involvement of, of the cosplay aspect of FanFest. Here we have some uh, of our key people there. <laughs> These look like people that helped on getting the good weather on, on Friday. And of course, we have a lot of engagement from uh, motivated people to give us feedback. A really engaged audience. Speaking of engagement, uh, we had some couples coming to Iceland and getting engaged. Uh, and here are some of the stats from our charity efforts. So uh, it's about uh, two and a half million ISK, the Icelandic one, not the E one. Uh, I think we wouldn't really need your help to make 2.4 million ISK. I think even I could do that, Eve. Um, and uh, now, as we talked about before, uh, then we're working with a local charity here, or basically the local children's hospital of Iceland, Barna Spitali Ringsins, as we would say in Icelandic. Uh, and while uh, we have been working so far with Gatwell Gamers, which is an awesome charity, I think there is a nice aspect of coming to Iceland for an internet spaceship conference and uh, changing uh, the local environment by doing that. So uh, this, we will now meet with the hospital, talk about uh, uh, what we do. I really uh, hope that we could buy like one piece of equipment and, uh, and do a little plaque. <laughs> a floating nisk. <laughs> no, we're not going to get them a floating nisk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> although I really want one. <laughs> Everyone wants one, I know. Uh, and the server blades alone uh, were over half a million ice K. It's really good to see the hamsters go ascend to heaven and leaving something. <laughs> not going to repeat. So the hamsters, uh, they keep on giving. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I also want to do a shout out to, to all our partners that have helped us pull this off. Uh, it takes a global village to make FanFest tick. There are many impossible feats we've done here. We've had a persistent multi-day VR tournament. We have had ongoing Twitch streaming, ongoing Twitch streaming out of VR. Uh, I don't know what we haven't pulled off. We have actually had in a, in a behind closed doors, we have been able to uh, show to do to few people, a combination of a Titan X from NVIDIA, a Crescent Bay from Oculus on an Intel-powered machine with the latest build of Valkyrie. Uh, we haven't been able to bring everyone at that. This is, this is cutting edge science and very delicate equipment right now. Uh, but the, the, I don't know, 100 or so people we've been able to get through that, they've all come blown away. I've, I've been lucky enough to try it, and I really look forward when we can bring this all uh, to a grander scale. Uh, Valkyrie on a DK2 is pretty damn cool, but at this level, it's something else. So, uh, to talk more about Valkyrie, I want to bring back on stage uh, Owen O'Brien, the executive producer for Valkyrie. 
Merci. I got my apostrophe wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm not working here. I'm just uh, so yeah, it's, wow, it feels like a lifetime ago that I walked on stage with a bleeding mouth. Um, this is only my second fan fest, uh, and probably the third for Valkyrie, but I mean, we had a good year last year, and we, I think we had an even better year this year. It was, it's, we've learned so much. Uh, one of the main things I learned is that if you let real players loose on the game, you start to <laughs> discover a lot more about the game. We've seen so many emerging tactics and things that people have been doing that even the team haven't been doing, and that's, that's why we're doing this, that's why we bring it here, that's why you know, we're doing the pre-alpha. So it's been really, really useful for us. Please keep continuing to give us your feedback because it's what makes the games better. So it all started, I don't even know how many days ago now, with the beautiful movie, with the beautiful gameplay trailer. Um, and you know, I hoped it was gonna go down well, I hoped you, you were all gonna like it, and the, the reaction has been... <laughs> so, you know, a lot of work into that. I, I, I really thought coming into FanFest that you know, the, the moment of showing you that trailer and that video was going to be you know, my favorite moment and my favorite video from FanFest. And it was until I saw this. So we, I've just saved millions on advertising campaigns and everything else, that's just, <laughs> we've got our slogan, there'll be t-shirts with this next year, that's it, <laughs> we're done. I, I love that video on, on so many levels, there's so many things that it says about the immersion of the game and just the reaction and, oh, it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on the internet. So. I mean, yeah, what, what I really enjoyed was, you know, as well as the, the, the feedback we were getting, was just watching people play and getting the reactions and getting those sorts of immediate reactions. You know, we've had, well, you don't really know how many people we've had, but we've, we've, we've had, you know, uh, between 13 and uh, 1,400 people through playing the game, which is actually more people than it's actually here. So, uh, you know, I think lots of people were going multiple times, which is great, you know, that's cool. Uh, we had a lot of panels, um, and they were very useful, and they, you know, we got lots of great questions. Uh, <laughs> funny story, during this panel, I found out afterwards that my, none of my team could actually hear what I was saying, so I was uh, answering a question and then going and asking for like a reaction, and they were all just looking at me going, mm -hmm. and it was like, guys, don't leave me hanging here. So, um, <laughs> that, that, <yeah. laughs> what? Whoa. But we got through it. Luckily, they could hear the questions that were coming in. So you know, when they answered it, it was fine. When I started to answer it, then tried to hand it off, there was just like, OK, yes, just agree. So the, the, our sort of journey here climax, uh, came to its climax just a few <laughs> minutes ago or an hour ago with the, the, the Valkyrie tournament. The, so it was the, you know, the first VR uh, tournament that was streamed live, probably the first VR tournament anywhere. Um, and we did see a lot of those tactics that I, that I talked about being used. People had learned a lot. They got, they'd gotten really good at the game in a very short time. Um, and the, the, the winning, it was a very close match. I mean, like there was only probably a few kills in it, but uh, the winning team is, I hope, here. So we're going to invite them up on stage to give them their DK2s. My beautiful assistant, Hilmar is going to come out in the rehearsals.
Hey, I, so. Don't, don't drop it. Um, one of the guys actually you said, you know, maybe <laughs> we just have an empty box and you could like <laughs> kick it on. Yeah. I was like, no, that just scare people. In the rehearsals, I managed to call Hilmar my beautiful sister, which was just wrong on so many levels. <laughs> so just one more round of applause for the winning team. Thank you, guys. I don't even know what that meant. Um, so, no, those were the prizes. Sorry, I clicked one too many. So, I've had a great fan fest. I can't wait to come next year and you know dispense more uh, footwear wisdom. I'm wearing different shoes, but you know, still didn't fall over, so that's good. Uh, it's been a great journey for us. We're going to keep on this journey with you guys. You know, you're our kind of uh, biggest supporters, and we really appreciate all the help you're giving us. But we're going to end, or I'm going to end this particular talk by with where we began and let the, the movie roll. precisely. Systems check. Navigation systems online. Weapons online. Engines online. Magnetic catapult initialized. Hold on tight. We're ready to deploy. Launching in three, two, one.
oh, that freezing sound in the end. Like, oh. <laughs> so uh, the VR labs uh, have been running uh, all the way long, and uh, hundreds of people have gone through. Uh, it's, uh, it's been quite a job to uh, get all the rigs set up and everyone trying to play all these things. Um, and uh, here are some kind of uh, sort of pictures following and, and, uh, and some of the stats we've seen. So first, um, we have the, what is called the kind of the, the workshop, which is, uh, has fireballs in it. Um, and uh, here are some of the, sorry, clicker, cl clicking over. Here are some of the things we've heard. Uh, kind of the overall experience was rated at uh, 69%. So, of course, some people uh, are giving us really uh, awesome feedback, but we're also really getting really good, precise feedback on what needs to improve, and I know the, the guys have really appreciated it. I put my daughter, this is Eva, who's a little cult celebrity of FanFest. She's trying this out for the first time, and she's just been pestering me since about coming again and again and again. And I think the kids these days, they're so spoiled. <laughs> they get to do fireballs when they're when they're 11. Uh, uh, not unsurprisingly, uh, the ship spinner probably got the highest marks, um, this being Eve FanFest, and it's an Eve ship spinner. Uh, but of course, we get some feedback like it needs more Kaldari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And crushing ships. Uh, but I mean, it's super cool to be able to peek inside an Eve spaceship finally and see all those little cute things in there. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, and of course, seeing people while they're doing this, you can kind of distinctively see what this guy is doing. He's peeking inside the spaceship, and that guy has a god complex. This <laughs> 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 uh, Karina also comes out really high. It actually comes out the highest, not surprised. Uh, I myself have gone into this many times. I've demoed this uh, throughout the world uh, of late. And every time I'm, I'm sort of demoing against someone, and my score is kind of bad, and I always kind of get into it, and it just like, you just really get sucked in. Uh, so people want to talk, uh, control didn't feel quite right, etc. faster paced. So, I mean, the guys are not going to take all this feedback, uh, and we are going to regroup uh, on, on what will be the next steps, and hopefully we'll have some next-gen version of all this uh, come next FanFest. And like, people just make the coolest moves when they're doing it. Like, People look cool when they're doing the, the VR labs. Um, here's a screenshot from Project Nemesis, where everyone has really uh, allotted the artistry and the technology. But uh, we've gotten some really good feedback on the gameplay. And of course, this is a tech demo, so the, the gameplay hasn't been a, a huge priority. Uh, but get, definitely getting the tech up to this level, getting Unreal 4 be this performant on basically a phone uh, is a, a huge achievement of the team. And I want you all to give a, maybe a good applause for all the people that made the VR Lab happen. Um, now I want to play for you something I'm really proud of, uh, what we've been doing of late. We've kind of been revitalizing the scope uh, and have been making almost a weekly schedule of uh, delivering news from the EV universe uh, under the scope label. Uh, so one got released yesterday. I'm not sure everyone has had a chance to see it because you've kind of been busy here and uh, at PopCrow. Uh, so I want to uh, play that for you now. And coming right after that, uh, will, Antti will come on and talk about some of her reactions to FanFact. So let's watch the scope. Prominent capsuleers and statesmen from all corners of New Eden are gathering in Uli over the next few days to attend the Symposium of Emergent Threats. The event will be overseen by Machi Raish, the elder mentor of the Society of Conscious Thought. The symposium is intended to provide a neutral platform for delegates to discuss the recent uncloaking of what has been identified as Jove Observatories as well as the near simultaneous appearance of drifter battleships. These events have caused alarm throughout New Eden. It is hoped that the symposium marks the first unified step toward addressing the strange appearances. This is Lena Amber in Uli, reporting for The Scope.
Hey guys. So I really want to just come out here and say a huge thank you to all of you for being here in Iceland and for talking about EVE with us. I've already talked to a number of developers who are coming out of FamFest with new ideas and with new input and information to base their work off of, all because of the feedback that you provide. So thank you very, very much for that. So the, the vision we have for EVE is very big, but it's also very, very rooted in the possible and the achievable. So that's why all the stuff we have been showing you here at FanFest this year has a delivery date, at least for some part of it, in 2015. And that's been a really important principle for us this year is to show you stuff that's really coming in the near future. In some of my slides in the keynote, you can see 2015 as the delivery date. That usually means the first half of 2015, not always, but in most cases, it's just that we don't have you know, a particular date yet. And a lot of the stuff that you've seen here over these few days will go up on that EVE Updates page as actual features that will become available on some particular date. So we, re yeah. So I'm having a really great fan fest this year uh, because we got the big show out of the way on the first day. I've been able to actually go to presentations and round tables and hang around and talk to people. These are some of my personal photos from this weekend, just really enjoying attending all these things and listening in, kind of sneaking into sessions and hearing what you have to say. But one of my real favorite aspects this year has been the uh, cosplay contest. And so I've taken it upon myself here now to present actually the winners of this. There was a contest each day, so we have winners for each day. Here are the three first prize costumes for the first day of FanFest. Give those guys an applause. <laughs> guys and girls. So as some of you know, I. One of my hobbies is live-action role-playing games, so I have a personal uh, interest in having this become a bit of a, an aspect of FanFest. All right, we also have the winning costumes of day two. And day three. And the grand prize? <laughs> and one of the reasons I like this stuff is I see it as our job is really to give you a universe a world that's ambitious and rich and interesting to inhabit, that really forms this stunning backdrop to your fights and trades and scams and politics and personal achievements. So we'll have CCB Guard come talk to you about player meets in just a while, but I will leave you with the Emergent Threats trailer to really remind you of exactly that statement that it opens with. In EVE, the story isn't real until you become a part of it. is a strange, um, I don't know what you call it exactly, anomaly, uh, a light anomaly, a sort of star anomaly. And apparently the closer you get to Jove space, the better you can see it. It has been nicknamed Caroline Star. Whatever happened there is massive. What caused that whole thing to happen? Jovian stargates have gone offline. The Circadian sleepers have also been appearing. All those things have been 
scanning everything that comes near them. The unidentified structures that have been popping up and disappearing. They are listening to you. Preparing to explore. Preparing for war. Is it possible that the sleepers have found a way to break away from the construct? There's no telling what they might do out of self-defense. Maybe the sleepers are the ones needing the, the body parts so that they can reconstruct bodies because their actual bodies have withered away. I'm just gonna live here, I think. <laughs> All right, so uh, in case anyone is wondering about the hat, this is my party hat for my raiding party. Because we're going places and we hope to see a lot of you there. We are all here because we love player gatherings. Because while CCP puts on a pretty good show, this event would be mildly peculiar at least without all of you. Like uh, Tetzel so beautifully illustrated uh, with the aid of the Iceland Air coloring book on the way to FanFest, the best ship is friendship. And uh, that's what brings us all together. Player events make you appreciate the community in a whole different way, gives you better insight and connection with the people you play with. That's why we love them. There's been a lot of good stuff happening in the player gathering uh, community in the last year or so. A lot of new events, a lot of growth and prosperity. And uh, one of the best things to come out uh, uh, in the recent, recent months was Eve Meet. <laughs> EveMeet.net, uh, made by Ariel Rin and Bram Stroker. Uh, it's, the, it's becoming the single best place to find events near you on the world map, to uh, sign up your own events and get notified of events that are taking place. So use it. It isn't a dating site for EVE players, although, you know, someone could make one. Just throwing it out there. If somebody, <laughs> if somebody has any skills, you know. So, uh, but, but EVE Meet is a good place to find events of all shapes and sizes, and we love all those shapes and all those sizes. Uh, pub meets are usually where it starts. Uh, they're like, they have a low barrier of entry. Uh, there's not a lot of commitment involved. You just have to like show up. You have to know about them, of course. So keep your eyes open. Then you gotta go there and have fun with uh, good friends. We've been to a lot of them and they're great. They're all over the place on almost all continents. Uh, there's probably one near you that you don't know about, so take a look. And uh, if you live in one of those gaping holes of no partying on the world map, uh, contact us. We'll give you advice, set one up for yourself. Invite your friends. Then we have events that uh, you know do uh, more and uh, like have more content. And uh, so, Eve New England is one of those events, a growing event that's been uh, that was uh, open to the public last year. They sold tickets at a reasonable price. People meet at a farm in New Hampshire on the, uh, and it's very accessible for people on the uh, east coast of the United States. People have a party barn over there, uh, so they blow things up, barbecue, and have a great time. Uh, there's tickets on sale, so now you know about it. Uh, we will be sending a raiding party to the eastern shores of the United States. So we'll be there, and you too, I hope. <laughs> 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 
So uh, then we have uh, events uh, that have like one day events with a lot of content like Eve Nottingham. This is another event that has its own flavor. It's a bar meet, but it has a lot of content tournaments. They had a room with four big screen TVs just to play Dust. We brought Valkyrie, which was a great hit. And uh, there you see uh, the winners of the tournament uh, with her swag. And there you see Garkant celebrating his uh, victory over me. Uh, I had just blown up. He was very happy about it. He had 2% structure. My teammate on this uh, dev versus dev show match uh, was CCP Puncturis. When we looked at the kill mail, <laughs> when we looked at my kill mail uh, right after the match, I was, by the way, like, you know, telling her about some stuff she should do and uh, helping her out. Uh, uh, I saw that, like, 30% uh, of the damage done to me was by her. You could think she got carried away, but she's a terrible troll, so you never know. You never know. <laughs> but then we come to the, uh, <laughs> the, biggest, the biggest player run gathering in the world currently, Eve Down Under. Anyone from Australia? Yeah! yeah. So this is, a, this is a really good event. The logo was actually uh, designed by CCB Manifest and has become the official logo of Eve Down Under. Uh, this is an event that has done fantastic things for the uh, relatively isolated Australian community who loves downtime. <laughs> it's a, it's a content-rich, uh, proper big, uh, you know, gathering multi-days. They rent like a nice hotel conference space and uh, they go on pub crawls and uh, take over downtown Sydney, similar to what we do to Reykjavik. <laughs> and then uh, there's a lot of good people who come out there. There's my uh, buddy Chimera uh, wearing the original Guardface t-shirt. So this is just a coffee. And uh, yeah, so I can, I, I can almost say I've been to uh, Eve Down Under and I hope to make it there someday. Uh, uh, Chimera is very sad to be here, so I just want to give him a salute. Uh, 07, mate. <laughs> they are looking to fill up all these seats uh, and tickets will go on sale soon. Dates have been nailed down. If you want to make the trip of a lifetime to Australia, you should definitely do it. Kripa went there, then he went to Eve Vegas. Then he went to Eve London, then he went to FanFest. That was all in the space of a year. That's some uh, heroic partying right there. And then we come to an event that uh, is uh, really interesting. <laughs> Evesterdam. Uh, who here was at Evesterdam last year? So uh, Evesterdam is uh, it's held in Amsterdam, obviously. Uh, it's a very interesting, uh, welcoming city. They have great coffee shops, I, I hear. <laughs> and. Um, it, it, started, it started as a, a, a pub meet, a really big pub meet, and it uh, has since become a ticketed event. Uh, we went there last year, Dear Traval, who was on the CSM, organizes it, and uh, they took over this uh, old renovated theater in, downtown, in the downtown area, really nice place. We had uh, a lot of good people, over 200 people there. We uh, showed up, gave out some prizes, it was a lot of fun. Uh, some amazing player presentations given there. Uh, really big props to those guys. And so this year, uh, the dates have been set. Uh, CCP is going to step in with one foot, similar to what we did uh, in Eve Vegas a couple of years ago. And we're going to beef up this event. We can really see it becoming a big event for mainland Europe. <laughs> so we're going to bring Valkyrie. Uh, and more devs and uh, more official CCP content. Uh, that brings us to the second biggest official CCP gathering in the world, Eve Vegas. <laughs> so uh, raise your hands if you were at Eve Vegas last year. <laughs> it's a few, it's a few. Uh, raise your hands if you're going to Eve Vegas next year. More hands, more hands, that's a good sign. We've heard rumbles, people making bold claims. We think there's gonna be a lot of people at e Vegas uh, this year. Last year, we were at Planet Hollywood. They gave us uh, really good deals on hotel rooms for players, so uh, making it easier for people to get there. Uh, they had amazing facilities, uh, really helpful, so we're doing it again this year at Planet Hollywood. Then uh, we had like an amazing pop crawl. A lot of people took, took the trip with us to the pop crawl. Uh, CCP Curtis. He takes drinking very seriously. There is basically being the general of getting drunk, <laughs> getting people out of the building. We went walking around. Uh, it, was a, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, then uh, I was looking through some uh, pictures, and uh, 
And one of my, one of my good buddies from eVegas uh, was on the way to the pop crawl there, and he seems to have fallen into deep thought, uh, probably uh, asking himself those deep questions that, that, that dig at the soul, uh, such as, why do we pop crawl? <laughs> Usually a question we ask ourselves the day after a pop crawl, but uh, <laughs> each to his own, I guess. So, uh, but maybe someone just caught one on the line. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're doing, doing it again at Planet Hollywood, and uh, the party, the final party on the Saturday, will be held under the Eiffel Tower again in the Chateau nightclub. And this time, we made assurance, we've gotten assurances that we will party all night long. And since I know you uh, are impatient, tickets are on sale now. So if you get out your phones, uh, you can see that the tickets are... Uh, they sold out, I'm sorry. Uh, they're gone, they're gone. But uh, no, 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 there's tickets, there's tickets, I jest. They are still there and uh, the best deals are put up first, so uh, get your tickets while they're hot and I'll see you in Vegas. It's gonna be amazing, there's gonna be a little more of everything and it's gonna be fantastic. So this is sort of a rough timeline as things stand now of events that we will be uh, going to and taking part in this year. Uh, there's the pub meets, the bigger events, and uh, all the way to the Yves Down Under and Yves Vegas. And uh, it's going to be a really good time. Speaking of parties, tonight we party at the top of the world! <laughs> So, without further ado, I'm going to give it back to Hilmar. I will see you at the party! Thank you, Svenny. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so it's been really inspiring to watch how these player gatherings have evolved over time. Uh, from when we started the first one, I think the first fan fest we did in 2004 would have been a, called a, a, a mid-range player gathering by now. Um, and how this has really extended and extended and extended uh, to the point where we are now. It was certainly one of the things we were really concerned about in the beginning, having a, a, a fan gathering in Iceland, would anyone come? And okay, shouldn't we find ways to bring it closer to everyone? And you uh, have definitely found a way to do that. And being a former kind of software architect nerd, this is a system that scales. So, uh, speaking about fan gatherings, then, of course, uh, FanFest next year is going to take place on these dates. So, we have already booked the Harpa. We're working on the weather and celestial phenomena. Uh, <laughs> can't commit to anything less. Less hype, more substance. We'll see. Uh, tickets uh, will go on sale tomorrow. Uh, but there will be a little kiosk in the party. If you're feeling it, uh, then you can buy tickets right here. Uh, at the party. Yeah, we're being smart. Yeah, see, like, <laughs> get you drunk and hey, some tickets. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, so the party uh, is going to be, uh, uh, we're changing up some things. Um, it's going to be more about, more space for people to talk to each other and all that. There are still absolutely going to be some uh, super cool uh, music events. Uh, we have a metal super band, which we have constructed out of some pretty good Icelandic metal bands. We have like Solstavir and Minus and Ham, and out of that we have created the band Melrakar, which sounds pretty bad and evil, and it means ice, jack ice desert jackal, or something like that. It's an Icelandic word, hard to pronounce or, or translate. Uh, then we'll have Parmaband. Uh, so make sure you don't miss that. They're probably around 11 that they're going to come on. Uh, and we have uh, CCP Hunter and CCP Guard together again, coming together and thinking uh, about killing is just a means of communication. Uh, and they'll also do heart and the fuck up. So. Uh, then there's something going on, some synchronous dance thing with infinite spaceship captains. I haven't seen it. it sounds super intriguing. Uh, so don't miss that. DJ set from FM Bell and other cool things. So see you at the party. Uh, 
But before we go there, I want to really thank all of you for coming here yet again for the 11th time to help us find a way through this uncharted land we've decided to walk into. It's really been you that have helped us to realize when we're doing something good and when we're fucking shit up, uh, <laughs> which we have done. But uh, it's really been uh, the inspiration from all of you and from all of you on the stream uh, that keeps us going uh, to make all this go where it truly can go. And I really want to end this whole program, this whole fun fest on This Is Eve. We're going to sit 10k off a target, we're going to blap it really quick, and then we're going to warp to the run spot. Does that make sense? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, standing. Okay, stand by. So, you guys, here's the deal. They got their Prophecy fleet up, and then Razor also has an Oracle fleet. So, we should have some interesting stuff about to happen. So, it's going to be like this. We're going to portal through, and at the same time, the triage carriers are going to jump. Just the triage carriers at first. Everyone clear? Let me see. Oh, crap. I think... Were we able to take on Guardians? Yeah, they got four Guardians. I don't think we can do this. We can do this. Don't worry about that. Now we're going to fucking play some fun games. Mars racing. Fun, relax. Always alive. Primary is the Dominic's in five, four, three, two. Decloak, decloak, decloak. Torpedoes on the Dominic's. So I'm carrying a hundred times more than my ship is worth. There were some pirates chasing me. Um, this one guy chased me through like five different systems. I need to get the fuck out of the system. This little rock right here is worth about 166 million isk. For some people, this might not be a big deal, but for me, it's huge. Seller 4.2, pretty nice. Gonna produce four of them, two days, 19 hours, 11 minutes, 44 seconds. We can expect to make eight to 10 million around there. 51 out of 56 grit. Okay, good. And we've got five modules to fit in here. The ship speed is actually pretty good. It can hit 4K a second. We're going to hurt that now by adding on some armor buffer. Up, success. Yeah. Thanks, dudes. Yeah, this stuff is so much fun. Oh, yeah, it's such fun. It's almost done now. Like, uh, less than a week. Oh, look. Whoa. Okay, guys. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. Hello, gorgeous. Ooh. Exude Eve-osity. Ah. T-shirt sexy enough, even for the rock. Wow. Bonjour. Take a look at these naughty boys. Capsuleer confidence. Put the O back in coat and the A back in parka. 
Mm. All teeth. Get your kicks with Eve 66. With these clothes, stations walk in you. Ooh. That's so snug. Oh, aren't they having fun? Have you been 66th? 